Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today's video is the video you guys have been waiting for because I finally have the patch notes for the Xbox and the PS4 for the update for Ark Survival Evolved. This is going to be version 755 on the on the Xbox and it'll be version 509 on the PS4. Now if you're wondering why it says version 754 upcoming version, that isn't the one, that's the one that's already come out. They've just had a little mistake there. It is a version 755. Now the, est well, the estimated release date was actually between the 8th of June towards the 12th, but they've actually put the release date as they've, they haven't put ETA they've actually put um, uh, June the 8th so hopefully this means we'll actually be getting it on the day of June the 8th which would be absolutely great now if you guys do enjoy this video and you wouldn't mind dropping a like that'd be great if you wouldn't mind subscribing as well if you're new to the channel that'd be good thank you for all the support you've been showing on the videos guys really does mean so much we're getting closer and closer to 42,000 subscribers now which is amazing so thank you all for that but apart from that, we're just going to go through the Xbox patch notes and then go through the PS4. They're usually exactly the same, so that's why I usually read off one of them. And then if there's anything different, then I'll just go in, um, onto the different patch notes. But I do have the PS4 ones there, and we'll just scroll through them at the end of the video. But we're going to start off with the first thing. So... It's per pixel painting, which is including human and dino war paint, which is what people have been going on for so long about. And finally, it is coming to console, guys. This is something that is a seriously, seriously been, everyone's been waiting for for a long while. I've been waiting for it. It's going to be great once it comes in. I've seen a few pictures of it, actually. So if, in the future video, I might just do wait till the update comes out and do a video on that. Or I might actually do a separate video on per pixel painting, depending if we do get more information. So you guys can learn a little bit more about it. But yes, that will be coming. The new weapon the harpoon gun and it's going to have trank bolts for the harpoon gun as well so it's going to obviously be better for taking down bigger dinos so that's going to be coming out of the harpoon gun and then all the new dinos that came out the p the pc update so the Hi hyodon which is the um i wish i've said completely wrong but it is like sort of the hyena dog type of thing you can have as a pet if you guys haven't seen my old video of how to tame i think it was two videos ago i can't even remember but it was how you tame all of these brand new dinos um the the sort of bird like thing which is the um hesper hesper Bonus. The giant sloth, the lizard, sort of, you know, the thing that can climb up all the walls and things like that. It can climb up rocks. It's so much fun. If you haven't seen my video on that, it's so much fun just climbing around on it. It's a bit slow, but it's still awesome. And then the Euteranus, which is obviously the, the relative, but sort of bird looking like T Rex version, which all of those dinos are going to be coming out with the console. The next thing is there's going to be the gas-powered speedy motorboat, which if you guys haven't seen that on the PC, it is sort of like, you know, the motorboat version of the raft. So, it's you know, it's like an upgrade from the raft, which is really cool because you can fit more things on it. And you can, you know, you and it's just it's just quicker and it's more strong. So it's not going to be taken down as easily. The next uh, structure that's going to be coming out is the interactive toilet, which you guys saw is was going to be coming out with the, PA, um, with the PC. So the toilet's going to be coming out. Viking hair and facial hairstyles are going to be coming out as well, which is awesome. Um, you know, the Viking hair is going to be quite funny. People will probably make like Viking ships and stuff on the on the motorboats and um, or, or even on a normal raft and with their Viking hair. There's also going to be um, um, you know obviously the things that happens every update is memory reductions, uh, texture memory, and mesh optimizations, which these are always so useful when these come out because this just fixes the game basically helps you know sort out bugs makes the game less laggy memory redu uh, reductions is really really good and the optimizations is awesome so you know i cannot wait to see um more and more things get fixed in the game so when the full game comes out i'm hoping it's going to be a very nice playable game you know it's obviously it's playable now but you know very clean you know like on the pc of playing arc basically so no bugs and things like that which there are still bugs but you know you can play it pretty smoothly um, tech pr um, projectiles now will, will not do any damage if they collide with a structure after fifth after 5,000 units distance um, in, in brackets obviously to balance against auto turrets so that's that, that's going to be that achievement set now includes uh, various cosmetics hairstyles and emotes unlocked as you get achievements so it looks like the achievements are going to you know play a bit more of a part in the um, obviously for the uh, this is for the Xbox I mean I'm not too sure I think PlayStation you get trophies don't you so it'll be something to do with that um, new client options to disable giving cosmetics on respawn and to disable men menu music tracks so obviously there's been new music added in so uh, that's just going to be able to sort out that if you don't want to be listening to the music or if you do want to listen to the music and now this is the easter egg video that i did um, the other day i think it was two days ago now which is about the um atv vehicle which if you haven't seen it's like the dune buggy which is in the game so if you haven't seen my last video before this one goes live if you want to go check that out, you can see a little bit of gameplay of how this is going to work so this easter egg will be added to the single player and custom servers and this is the 
um, obviously the command you need to use, which is give item um, blueprint and all everything that you can see right here is the command that you need to type in to be able to get that buggy. I will be doing a video as well on um, for the P for the for the console when the buggy comes out. I do for the I do the dinos and the um, the buggies. So then you guys know a lot a little bit more about everything that you need to know about the buggy and stuff for console. Um, it's gonna fix various gameplay exploits and edge um, you know and edge cases, which is pretty useful. You know different random just just little things in the game that mess up is always you know can actually benefit the whole game a lot so having these little big exploits and things like that fix is also awesome the dire wolf now has pack logic with pack buff which is great because you know it, they always are in their packs but it, you know there's not not really a meaning for it there's obviously it now has pack logic so they understand each other it's going to be a little bit more realistic when obviously the dire wolves are in their packs Fix bug where alpha wild creatures were sometimes uh, improperly buffing e um, enemy tamed creatures, basically, which I didn't even realise that was actually something. I've never really noticed that as much, but that's probably you know things they 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 know is wrong, and I'm, I'm sure loads of you guys have had that problem. Updated various new UIs to the new style, so everything that is you know that isn't the new style, which you know so, you know when the inventory was changed and stuff, all of that stuff is going to be to the new version. So um e everything is the new style of Ark Survival Evolved now. 66 new explorer notes which is between the island and scorched earth there's now 66 new ones when it comes out with this update that is massive i can see how many they've actually released 66 new ones which is awesome the ballista slash harpoon bolt now has um a piercing properties too which is uh which is pretty interesting um you know i didn't realize i didn't realize they were going to change that but i think that's to make it more uh, realistic um redid the island's a ambient sounds and various gameplay and sound effects so obviously you know there's going to be loads and loads of different um uh, sound effects and stuff now added into the game because obviously as i say the full game needs to be polished needs to be perfect and to make this happen then you need all the different sound effects and stuff and you know i think things in, you know when it's nighttime on arc you know you'd be nice to have, you know start here like whistling from owls and things like that i think you know more realistic stuff would be awesome various um island map fixes which is going to be useful and like you know as i say this huge optimizations as well as in all these just different types of fixes which we won't know much about they say various ones but you know think you'll notice things as you know as um things go along like, i've noticed just everything when things you know when there's fixes in the game i do notice you know less lag or something like that so you know you'll you'll you guys after time will start noticing a lot more of how the game is improving there is a massive update coming to Primitive Plus, which is something that for you Primitive Plus players is going to be big. Because I know when Primitive Plus was released, a lot of people were quite upset about, you know, how it hasn't been, you know, given enough attention to. Because there's a lot of people I know that play a lot of Primitive Plus, there's been issues with dinos on there. And I know lots of you guys do love it. So having a massive update to Primitive Plus, I don't know right now what's coming. But when, as soon as I know what the massive update to Primitive Plus is, then I will do a video on that. So don't worry about that. All tame dinos with projectiles now support turret AI mode, which is all good, so there's nothing going to mess up with that. Official PvE uh, changed to use offline raid protection, so that's now being brought into the game. Made alpha, um, alpha lesichthys more common on the island, and made them f give five brother items rather than just one. Also made the alpha megalodon slightly more common. So you're going to be able to see a lot more of the alpha lesic fees and the um, and the megalodon. You'll start seeing uh, much more on the island, which is interesting. So just seeing them around a bit more because I know they're not always seen. Fixed particle systems not appearing at large world coordinates. So that is everything. Now what I've actually seen here, which I didn't know, is there's the obviously the everything you need to know thing, which is obviously I could do a video on or I might uh, or do something else. But there is actually the primitive plus patch notes, which I think I'm going to go through now for you guys. I didn't realize that was here. So I think I'm going to go through this now with you guys so you can see what's coming out with the Primitive Plus stuff. Um, which I think this came out with the PC. So the, it's looking like this will probably... Yes, yeah, so this is everything that's in it. So I'm going to go through all of the Primitive Plus stuff as well. So there are a few big changes um, uh, to come into Primitive Plus. Be sure to move everything out of your advanced smithy and, um, you know, everything and you know everything like that. Also, if you live in Adobe, you may notice some stru structures are gone. All of the changes are made uh, to make sure o the overall health and performance of the mod is better. I I apologize in, in advance to anyone that may be affected. There are slight, uh, there are, there are, there are <coughs> sorry, that was so bad, guys. I'm sorry about that. There are likely more bug fixes, fixes than uh, listed in the patch notes. Also, performance increase should come with this patch. That was not good. Like, my throat just went all funny there. But anyway. 
additions, industrial forge, um, industrial cooker, um, alchemy bench, a sor sorghum, I think, soybean, spinach, arc cannon, coal resource, um, steel locker, sticky bomb, visual and sound indicators for exploding barrels, all engrams updated, all saddle engrams updated, chair engram added, re-added the mailbox engram, there's replaced P plus Adobe with um, SE Adobe, removed meat preserving shed, removed uh, modern uh, modern wood fiber storage engram, removed um, all the things to do with, pea, with the honey, beeswax can now be found in the bee, um, beehive, so you, obviously you know bees are in the game now, so they've just removed that, so you're going to have to go get that from beehives, which is make it more, tra um, make, make it obviously more um, uh, like harder to do, more of a challenge, but you know that's probably better because it makes the game more challenging. Decreased time to catch for fish trap, reduced size of, of bookshelf to fit under one, uh, one roof, big campfire now cooks two times faster than standard campfire, Bonfire now cooks three times faster than the standard campfire. All drops have been updated to remove non-primitive plus um, or primitive engrams and added to new primitive items. Um, wood, uh, um, you know, it's now lumber crafting speed increased. Rowboat name to dinghy. Um, increased hide harvest rates for the hunting knife. Uh, slightly increased uh, lighting radius for candle. Um, modified fire, uh, modified damage and health settings for steel safe. All plants, um, all, all plant models have been updated. Jellyfish biotoxin can now be used as an alternate resource for the, um, for crafting cure low. Lots of fixes as well here, guys. There's absolutely loads. So I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll just put the link in the description down below so you guys can read through it because obviously you, you, you're just going to hear me just reading so, so much of stuff. If you So if you want to read through any of this yourself, the uh, obviously I'll put the link in the description down below. But as I said, this has been the big update. It is massive, as you can see there. Absolutely everything the same for the PS4 as well. So don't worry about that, guys. Everything I read through is exactly the same. But um, it's obviously the versions are di different. Version 509 for the PS4 and version 755 for the Xbox. But both the 8th of June for the release date for the update. But anyway, guys, I am going to end the video here. It's been a pretty good one. We've seen so much coming out. It's going to be a massive update then again. At the end of the videos, I always do a little sort of, um, you know, a decision of what the gigabytes are going to be. And then I always, like, when it's obviously revealed of how big the update is, it's good to see how close I am. So I'm going to go with about 18 gigabytes I'm going to go for, guys. Now, it's obviously, it's being, it's abs all these updates are absolutely massive every single time they come out. And lots of people are getting quite annoyed because it's taking up space on their Xbox. And, and obviously for their PS4, but the reason why is because once the full game comes out, the updates will be about a gigabyte, like, unless there's anything massive like more dinos, but more dinos won't take up that much space, so, it, you know, updates in the future, like other game updates, like full games, will be one to two gigabytes, instead of like 20 gigabytes, it's just because this is still the game being made, basically, just in the game preview. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for all the support you've been shown. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links will always be in the description down below for loads more information. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a video very soon.